Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremy, founder of Quick Mail Lanzaio. Today we are going to talk about workflows. With workflow, you get to specify when something happens, then do something, all within Quick Mail. We call when a trigger, and we call then an action. So it's a simple way to automate things within Quick Mail. Let's look at a very simple workflow. I want two things to happen. The first one is, if my prospect click on my product link, I want to create a task so I can follow up with a phone call. The second thing that I want to, to happen is to modify the lead scoring of my prospect depending on what actions they execute on my email, be it opening an email or clicking on some links. So it's very, very simple to achieve within Quick Mail with workflows. So let's look at that. I'm going to go to sequence to start with and select one of my sequences for this workflow. And I'm only going to apply that to my influencers. So I'm going to click on this sequence. And on top right, you can click on action workflows. Now at the moment, you have no workflows. Uh, sequence are created without any workflows. So you need to create them. So let's add one. So the first thing we want to do is if someone click on my product link, uh, I want to create a task so I can follow up uh, with a phone call. So let's do that. Click on link. Let's say as soon as something is clicked, so let's say on the first click, and we want uh, the my product is called spincontact.io. I don't need to put the entire URL, but at least uh, text contained in this URL. So I don't want this to happen if they click on my LinkedIn profile, for example, but only on my product link. Then what will happen is I will create a task. And then you can actually, let's do fun. And then you can use any uh, quick mail structure and syntax, such as prospect dot first name on prospect done phone number. That will create a task automatically if a prospect click, well, the first time a prospect clicked on my product link. Now, how do we modify the lead scoring? So let's start with open. If a prospect opened, let's say, when it opens five times, so I want some interest, then I want to modify the lead score and then add, let's say, 25 points. I also want to add a score when the prospect click on an interesting link. So if it clicks, uh, the first time it clicks, let's, again, let's use spincontact.io, let's use my product link. Then what I want to happen is to modify the lead scoring and then add, let's say, 70 points because that's quite important. And finally, I have also a LinkedIn profile in my email. So if the person clicked on my LinkedIn profile, then I want my lead score to gain, let's say, 40 points. I save and voila. When I will be sending this email, if people click on my product link, that will create a task automatically to phone this person and on that phone number. And if they click on my LinkedIn profile, then they gain 40 points. If the person opened the email five times at least, 25 points will be added. And if he clicks on the product link, then 70 points will be added. If you're wondering where lead score can be found, it's on the prospect. Let's have a look at the first prospect. Here, you can find it here at the bottom. If I put it to 70 points, for example, and I go back to my prospect list, then it's very visible who has a lead score or not. So that concludes our very simple introductions to workflows. If you want to see more advanced one, uh, including two-part sequences, then head to quickmail.io slash workflows.